In this video, I'm going to use Cronus True Image 2018 to back up uh, my entire computer. I'll open it up here. Just remind you, uh, last time I went over some of the tools. I've used the uh, clone feature uh, on this computer to clone uh, my uh, main disk. Uh, replace it by an SSD. I did one using uh, Rescue Media, which I'll have another video to show you how to recover using the Rescue Media. It also, uh, one, one feature I like is also a Cronus Secure uh, Zone, where you can go ahead and save a image or backup of your system on uh, either the main drive or external drive or a second drive uh, call it code a secure zone you can uh, recover your computer from that particular zone but for right now I'm going to use, go to backup and right now it's set to uh, entire computer okay so you can you can uh, back up certain disks or partitions for some fault files or folders uh, mobile device uh, social media I've got it set up to uh, back up the entire PC and my destination in this go to browse This will be, I'm going to use the, this is an external drive also, uh, do volume E. Okay, so that's where this is going to go. Well, I might not have enough space on that one, so let me change this to uh, this one here. Another external drive. I'm going to put, click on that, and then show you some of the options that you've got. Again, you can set up the schedule, weekly, monthly, whatever you want to do there. I usually don't want to have one. And then over here, we go to the uh, next one, advanced. Validation, I want to click on this, validate backup when it is created. So I'm going to click on this one. You don't have to, you can always uh, validate uh, at your convenience. Backup protection. You can set up a password if you want. I don't used to do that. Okay. You can exclude things from being copied. So most of these are junk files. You know, for example, you don't want to recopy the recycle bin and so on. Uh, notifications show notification message on insufficient free disk space and so on you can uh, pause the computer and read through that if you want then there's backup schemes you can have an incremental one where you the first one is always going to be the uh, the entire computer or whatever file you're doing and then uh, incremental or differential versions of the uh, whatever you change I usually do the single version scheme. Okay, and you can see what it does here. I back up my system, and this is how to do the entire computer. And then, should I do it again the next time, it deletes the previous one and it keeps the new one. Okay, as long as you have the same the same scheme set up. Okay, so I'll click on OK on this. And again, remember uh, uh, the if you back up your entire PC, it's going to back up uh, everything in your C drive and actually all the drives that are internal to the uh, computer. All the internal drives, the uh, operating system, any settings, your uh, your program files, 
all your data, of course, and so forth. So then I'm going to click on Backup Now. And you can click here, shut down the computer after completion. For example, if you're doing this late at night and you don't want to wait for it, uh, just click on that. And whenever it's finished, it'll shut down. And you can check it out in the morning. I'm just going to wait to see what uh, it calculates here, calculating time remaining. And then I can go ahead and speed it up and then come back when it's finished. Okay, so you can see there in the lower right corner the time remaining. So uh, it's going to take in the neighborhood of uh, 30 some minutes or so. Uh, and of course, it's going to vary depending on the number of uh, gigabytes that you have uh, in this in your system. So uh, I'll be back when uh, the process is finished. Okay, it's pretty much finished. Uh, right now, it's in the process of validating the uh, backup. Validating the backup to make sure that uh, everything went okay. You can see the, the data that was saved there. The pictures, gigabytes, videos, audio, documents, system. And that, of course, is the operating system. The settings that go with it, 28.7 gigabytes, and then others, 36 gigabytes. Okay, it's about a minute to go in the process here. Again, still validating. The copying is done. With the backup, is completed, but uh, it's just validating. So this is one thing that I have set on the settings. You can actually do it yourself uh, if you didn't have it set up over here on the backups. Okay, telling us now that the backup is is valid. Close this. And see over here, if I click on this uh, top down menu, right here I have validate. I can rename the uh, backup here. Move it, let it come up again. Later on in the future, if it's still there and I want to recover the computer, but I want to make sure that it's valid, I can validate it again. Click on it here. So there's, there's, that's the, the recent one right here, July the 7th. I click on this. And click on this over here. And you can see there it saved my drive F. Recovery. It's got 32. And the C drive. All the different folders there. I had uh, some other backups and uh, another external drive. This is the first one that I did on this one with this particular scheme. So uh, should I do it again, backup uh, again with uh, this scheme? Uh, what it does is it deletes the previous one. So this one that I did right now on July the 7th would be deleted. Maybe not necessarily right away, but uh, when I uh, restart the computer and so forth, sometimes it will require a shutdown before it deletes it. Now let's close this out here. So now if, if we want to, let's let's say that uh, 
in a few weeks or so, uh, the computer starts to act up. Right now, let's suppose it's, it's working fine, and I want to uh, recover this image or this backup that we just did of the entire PC. I can come here and click on Recovery here. And then click on, if you have several backups here, click on the one you want. Let's say I click on this one right there, this, this one, let's say this one, the one I just did. And then uh, let's do recovery again. So this one's highlighted, so I would just click on recover PC. And I would recover from this image right here. Yeah, I'm not going to do it now because uh, right now it's okay, but this is what you would just do. Let's recover here. Uh, you select the uh, image or the backup that you want. And just keep in mind that if it, if it is an entire PC that you backed up, when you recover from that image, everything gets wiped out. Okay. Okay, so it's always, it's always best to, even though it's a backup of everything, I still have my uh, uh, data, pictures, other files saved on another disk also, other than the ones here on this particular computer. Okay? Now, if uh, your computer is not bootable, okay, so here the Assuming the, the computer is working, but it's a little bit sluggish, I can I can just click on the program and go through this recovery here, and I'm good to go. But in some cases, your computer might be unbootable. So this is where you would use the uh, media builder, or the rescue media that was uh, created. And I will be doing that uh, in a subsequent uh, video. But uh, for right now, this is the way you would recover if your computer was bootable. Okay, so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.